The Dark Knight Rises is a movie about billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, a.k.a. Patrick Bateman, who has been unseen for nearly eight years after laws put forth by Harvey Dent virtually clean the streets of crime. Eh, I'd say it had a 50-50 chance of working. But with the rise of a new villain, the muscle-bound Bane, played by Eames, Batman must come out of retirement. But it's going to take him a while to do so. Now, I greatly enjoyed the movie, but I'm going to start off with one of the few negative comments that I really have, and that's that the movie moves really slowly to begin with. But once the ball finally starts rolling, it's all good from then on out. Helping push Batman back into the cowl is policeman John Blake, played by Arthur. Blake is a great addition and pretty much steals the movie. He's smart, resourceful, and an incredibly likable guy. He also has a lot of nice parallels with both Batman and Commissioner Gordon, played by Sirius Black. After Blake finds out that Wayne Enterprises is no longer supporting the orphans in Gotham, he confronts Bruce about not caring about his city anymore. Joe, you don't care about your friends anymore. What? What are you talking about? You let your friend get eaten by an alien puppet and then just completely forgot about him. Oh, right. Wally. <laughs> How is he, anyway? He's not good, Joe. Not good. Poor guy's just getting weaker and weaker by the minute. But what about all those reviews I've been doing? Are they not helping any? It's not enough. We're gonna have to figure out something else. Oh. And soon! Anyway, also new to the movie is Miranda Tate, played by Mal. Besides being a love interest for Bruce Wayne, she also teams up with returning favorite Lucius Fox, played by God, to help work on a new fusion energy device thingy. But Bats is like super worried it'll wind up in the wrong hands. Another new baddie is Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, aka Mia Thermopolis. She's trying to steal a thingy called the Clean Slate that will wipe her record, well, clean, and give her a fresh new start. But Bats is like super worried it'll wind up in the wrong hands. Anyway, Selena's also a good addition who pretty much steals the movie among other things. She's a lot of fun and incredibly badass. Yes. Oh, hey, sir. There's this question I wanted to ask you. I don't know where it is. Sometimes things just disappear, you know? Um, okay. I was just wondering if you knew whether or not Chris Cherry had made any progress on that review juice for Wally. Why do you need Chris? I know science now. What is it? It's a review of Matronic Fusionator 3000 TMR in Circle. A review of Matronic Fusionator 3000 TMR in Circle? What's that? Well, if I've got my math, magic, and science right, the review of Matronic Fusionator 3000 TMR in Circle should pull review juice out of the air and turn it into a mist that Wally can breathe through this mask. Hey, I've been looking for that everywhere! It's for science, Joe! For science. I guess if it brings Wally back to full power. But what if it gets into the wrong hands? Like who? I don't know. Like some bad guy. Like some really bad guy. Like Bane. Joe, Bane's not a real person. He may not be a real person, but he is a great character. He really knows what he's doing, and he has a lot of fun doing it. And uh, I thought his voice would be really hard to understand, but it really wasn't. And it was actually a really interesting accent, I thought. And his fighting style was brutal, quick, and fun to watch. Anyway, I don't think the review juice works on humans. Just puppets. I'd like to test that theory. Red Shirt, I thought we left you in that puppet dimension after saving June. You did. But thankfully your forgetful friend Josh left behind this handy time thingy. Hey, give that back! <laughs> <laughs> See, I've been using this handy device to go back in time to train with all the greats. Genghis Khan, Bruce Lee, Fred Rogers. Mr. Rogers? Yes, he was the master of killing with kindness. Anyway, with a review of Matronic Fusionator 3000 TMR in circle, I will truly be unstoppable. No, don't! Oh, but yes. I can already feel the power coursing through me! I thought The Dark Knight Rises neatly tied together plotlines from the first two films, like the Harvey Dent Laws and the League of Shadows. I thought every scene with Alfred played by Miles was very emotional. I know, right? So many tears. 
Are you guys reviewing? It's a side effect of the review of Metronic Fusionator 3000 TMR in Circle. It needs review to juice, so it creates one using magic. Sometimes with the people around it. I thought this movie had the best fight scenes in the series. Batman Begins fight scenes were a little frantic and too hard to follow. The Dark Knight had a villain with a more psychological attack, but I think with Bane and The Dark Knight Rises, we get a threat that's both mental and physical. It's really weird. But oh, so good! What's all this then? <laughs> I thought it was neat how Catwoman's ears were both stylish and practical. Huh. What was that? Side effect of the review Matronic Fusion at a 3000 TMR in circle! Oh. And who are you? I am the Projectionist Project's Reckoning! Well, I'm your Reckoning! <laughs> the W. Because it's. like. It's wordplay. It's so funny. What did you do? It was easy. All I had to do was reverse the polarity on the review of Matronic Fusionator 3000 TM R in circle. Oh, the bat plane was completely awesome. I totally want one. And a tumbler. Easy peasy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not so easily defeated. Let's try this again, shall we? No! <laughs> oh. Does that review Matronic Fusionator 3000 TMR in circle still work? <gasps> So all in all, I thought The Dark Knight Rises was an interesting, action-packed, and emotionally fitting end to the Batman trilogy. Go see it! <sighs> Wally? I feel wonderful, you guys. Thanks. Hey, where's Joe? He's gone. But he left us saving you. Saving all of us. And to honor his memory, I will take up the mantle as the projectionist. That's what Joe would have wanted. I don't know why you keep thinking that. Oh, hey, where have you been? Yeah, what happened? Red Shirt and I wrestled with the time device for a while, channel hopping throughout the ages. Someone in the struggle, I got the device to myself and left him behind. Where? The question isn't where, but when. And the answer is... I don't know. Your choices are the 13th Pixar film, the 3rd Diary of a Wimpy Kid film, the 4th Ice Age film, the 7th Medea film, the 4th Step Up film, Ted, the 2nd Total Recall film, and the 2nd title for this film. Vote for the movie you think I should review next in the sidebar on minipineapple.com. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr to find out what I'll be watching next and when. And be sure to come to the Carmike Battlefield 10 Cinemas to watch it with me. Now, the next review may be delayed a few weeks because now that Wally's doing better, I think I'm going to take some time off to finish my next short film, Better Off Inside. But I'll still be accepting $10 donations for reviews, and the review of Black Dynamite should be up in a couple of weeks. So keep a lookout for that and more on minipineapple.com. See ya!